Hi, I'm Jimmy, Experiential Learning Lead at the Skokie Public Library, and today I'll be showing you one of the sewing machines available in the studio. The library offers access to the Janome Magnolia 7330 sewing machine. When winding a bobbin, your thread and spool cap will be on the arm. If you look on the top of the machine, notice there are dashed lines, and you will follow those when threading. So first, you will loop around the silver, then, on the right-hand side of the machine, you'll see the silver bobbin holder. If you take your empty bobbin, thread through the middle, then through one of the holes on the top, and then place it on the bobbin holder, and then finally, press it to the right. You can continue holding this thread and press the start button, or put your foot down on the foot pedal and it will start spinning. Once it looks like the bobbin is fully wound, you can press the stop button and snip the thread. First, make sure you can see the silver clip at the top of the machine. If you do not see it, this is the wheel. You can rotate the wheel until the silver clip becomes visible, or you can press the top button above the needle once or twice until the silver clip becomes visible. Your spool of thread will fit on the arm, then you can use a spool cap to keep it in place. Then you will follow the solid arrows. First it goes back to front on the white clip, then bring it down right to left, then bring it back up right to left, and bring it back down. Just above the needle, on the left-hand side, there is a clip, so we'll go back to front. And then you can thread it through the eye of the needle from front to back. You can use a magnifying glass for this process, which we have accessible in the studio. Now I will show you how to thread a bobbin. The bobbin holder is located underneath the needle plate, which is the silver area. If you press on the little black square, the clear plastic window will pop up and you can remove it. With your bobbin, you make the letter P. It will slide right into the bobbin holder. There's a small silver clip that the thread will come right underneath. Then you can put the clear window back on and you've threaded your bobbin. It is okay for the thread to come off the side like this. Next, we're gonna draw up the bobbin. To do this, hold the two pieces of thread that are coming out of the machine from the top thread and the bobbin. Pull them slightly so a little bit more thread comes out of the machine. And then keep holding them towards the back. Next, press the button towards the top of the machine. If you press it once, the needle will go in. Press it a second time, the needle will come up. Then you can pull the top thread until you notice a loop come through the bottom. Lift up the presser foot, grab the loop, pull it out, then guide the threads under the presser foot and towards the back of the machine. One of the unique features of this machine is that you can change the length of the stitch, the width of the stitch, and the stitch type. It is also compatible with different types of presser feet. To change the length of the stitch, you can press on this button here. And then to change the width of the stitch, you can press it one more time. The light will indicate if you are changing the length, width, or type of stitch. You'll see the numbers here are the default, and you can change them as your project may need. Number one is a straight stitch, and it is the most popular stitch type. The second most popular stitch type is number eight, and as you can see here, it is a zigzag stitch. We're going to line up the fabric underneath the presser foot. Notice there is a ruler on the needle plate and clear window to help position your fabric. If you reach through the machine, this lever is known as the presser foot. The presser foot always needs to be down when you're sewing. 
The top button here will put the needle into the fabric. If you press it, the needle will go into the fabric and hold it in place. Before you start straight stitching, if you press on this button here, the back stitch button, hold it down for two seconds. Then, if you let go and start sewing straight, it will automatically make a knot. So then you can press the start button or put your foot down onto the pedal if you have plugged it in and it will start sewing. When you're done, you can press the bullseye button and it will automatically make a knot and finish the stitch. Additionally, at the top, if you want to increase or decrease the speed of your machine, you can do so by moving this bar. Moving the bar to the left will decrease the speed, moving the bar to the right will increase the speed. Next time you're at the library, stop by the studio and see what you can create on the sewing machine. What will you learn today?